Hi everyone, I'm going to give you an opportunity today to make sure your graphics folder is up to date. I also would like you to attend the one-to-one -one Google Meet with me, okay, and I've allocated times to everybody on there. Can you all please make sure you're logged on, ready to go, on time? I have been through all of your graphics folders and I have tried to find the work in your Google Drive. Any work that I've found, I have gone into your graphics folder and put it in. Okay, so a lot of you have got work in there that you did not put in there. You need to make sure that in future you upload all your work yourself. There was some work that I was unable to find, so you need to make sure that today, okay, and I'm going to give you 30 minutes to make sure your graphic folder is up to date, and also half term to make sure your graphic folder is up to date. I'm going to go through what should be in your graphics folder. Then, after the 30 minutes, what I'd like you to do is to carry on with your Artist 1 version 1, which you started last lesson. That should be about halfway done by the end of today's lesson. If you want to do some additional work over the over half term, please do that. I know some of you don't have Photoshop or Illustrator, but you may want to use something like Inkscape or some other software that you might have at home. So, here is a look at your graphics tracker so as i said i've gone through and i've looked at what should be in there so a cover lookbook mind map arts research and primary images you can see that nobody had uploaded primary images so that needs to be done across the board people have got some work some people have got no work as I've said, I've managed to find some of that work and put that in for you. So it's important that you go in there and you fill in any gaps. Some of you have not presented your graphics folder. They've not, you've not got a template. If you're struggling to do this on Photoshop or Illustrator because you don't have it at home, there's no reason why you can't do this on Google, on Google Slides and just use one of the existing templates. So you can see here, I've just used one of the, the templates, a black background and the typeface it used. I've said it's a personal investigation, the theme is out of space and the name of the student is Jenny Wood. Here's an alternative view, personal investigation, out of space, Jenny Wood, and then an alternative design to exactly the same thing. If you want to be a bit more adventurous, you can design your template, your cover, on Illustrator or Photoshop. It might be quite nice to add some little elements on, like the planets here, that relate to your theme. You should also represent your mind map. Most of you have done the mind map, but you've just not presented it in the same theme as your graphics folder. So you need to go back and make sure it's presented. You can see I've got the theme of my project. So I was going to make a comic strip. And the four themes are a haunted house, a space comic, a comic about isolation, or a comic about afterlife. So there are the four different subheadings that I had before I chose my theme of outer space. Here is the lookbook. So if you remember, the lookbook is the document you all filled in where you had the brief, outcomes slash products, concept, and visual inspirations. You should have answered all them questions on the template. I've marked them, I've been through all of them. You're gonna copy, paste them in, and you should have a minimum of two paragraphs. You then also include the visuals, okay? They may be artistic visuals, so we can see the artist Fiona Staples, or images to do with the theme, so we've got space. You may also include examples of exciting products that you're going to make, like children's books. But it should just be, give me an idea of what you think you'd like to make in the project. The next thing you should have is your artist research page. So again, that's another document. That's the multicoloured document that asks you to talk about the artist as a whole. Okay, And in the second part of the document, it asks you to talk about a specific piece of work. You then take all of the responses. Again, I've proofread all of these for you. And you're going to make two paragraphs. The first paragraph about the artist and the second paragraph about a particular piece of work. You then need to include examples of the artist's work and present it on the template that you've designed. The next thing you should have is your primary images. Okay, They need to be presented on a template. Please don't just keep them in your folder wherever you store your work. They need to be taken and presented on a template and put in your graphics folder so I can see them. The final thing I want you to do is to add a new slide for your planning page. On the planning page, you need to take your Artist One Outcome One plan, which is this document here, okay? I want you to copy and paste that in. 
You then should also include any secondary images that you're going to need to make your artist one outcome one. And that's really important. I sh should now have all of the things I need in order to make my outcome. I've got the primary image I'm going to use, which is this image. And I've got images that are going to help me design the costume. I've also got my plan, which tells me, refreshes my memory, tells the teacher and tells the examiner what I'm going to do. And what we will do is when we finish the actual outcome, we will go back and present this on the template as well. When you've presented all that work, what I'd like you to do is to go and continue with your artist one, outcome one. Please remember that I'm expecting one, two, three, four, five presented slides and a sixth slide with this information on. This must be presented by the time you come back after half term. Have a good half term and I'll see you when you get back.